What is up YouTube? How y'all doing? It's the Doc Wilson here and today I'm going to show you guys how you can get the Galahorn or the Iron Galahorn. Whichever one you have and or prefer. Also to note, you can only get the Iron Galahorn if you have the game pre-ordered and get the pre-ordered bonus of the Iron Galahorn. Also through this you will need to have splicer keys and also you will need to have collected at least five Siva fragments. There has been one that is right near at the corner of this uh, rock at the end of this cliff where the end of the Galahorn is right now. There's one there and there's a skeleton over there. Alright guys, as soon as you guys spawn in, you'll want to make your way over to the Archon's Keep. Now once there, that, that's where you'll actually be able to find the mission for you guys to uh, get your Galahorn. Alright guys, now I did fail to mention that you guys are patrolling the Plaguelands, but that's what we're doing and just follow what I'm doing right now. Alright guys, now since you've been patrolling the Plaguelands, you should come over here to the Archon's Keep. And over here there's a mission, and it looks like a goat, I guess, kind of looks like a sideways ghost. It's a patrol mission, and it's in this specific spot. It's not any of the other, uh, Mickin, what? It's not any of the other missions at any other, uh, beacon. It is this specific one in this specific place with this specific, uh, icon. Alright, so now we want to get this mission. Hmm. This beacon is picking up interference, an energy source deep below the plague lands. We better check it out. All right, scrambled data stream seems to be pointed anomaly very deep in sight. Okay, okay. Yep, I'm I'm burning. I'm on fire. Oh good. We just go right on up here. Keep going through here. Screw all those guys. Who cares? Ah. Alright guys, and then you'll have to come to this door, and once you're at this door, you will need a spicer key to unlock this door. So if you don't have one, you will need to get one before you get to this part. Once you use it, it unlocks and you can go through the door. Remember after you use it though, do not walk out of this door, or you'll have to wait for it to reboot before you can uh, use another spicer key to come back through. So be sure that you don't do that. After that... You will have to go over here. You know what? You know what? I'm just I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this. I'm gonna grab this and uh, get some get some kills going. And collect this loot. Goal is to scan what's behind this uh, walker here. See, so you actually don't even have to kill this walker. This you just have to scan that islands. place if you would it's rather do that. Faint, but enough to disrupt the patrol network. Saladin will be happy to see this. Now, once you've done that, you gotta go see uh, Mr. Salad. So now, once back in the Iron Temple, you come up here, talk to Lord Saladin tomorrow, and he's got this little. He'll have a quest for you. What do you have? Beauty and destruction. And this is how this is a quest to the get that's right, the Galahorn. This is a so you get that, Rules and now what you have to do, you've got new steps, you gotta go talk to this uh there's Tyra in here. And you know, kinda it's just kinda, you know, go here, talk to this person, go here, talk to this person, kind of thing. Find more of the medallions worn by the Iron Lords, then return to me. So if you heard what she just said there, she said collect the medallions. You have medallions hidden around the map that you have to collect. Now there's medallions hidden all around the place and you have to find all of them. 
And if you guys remember in, um, I think it's Webisode 3, I actually talk about uh, this wolf head up here and how you might have to collect it for something. Well, that's exactly what this is. You have to collect this medallion for um, to get the Gallahorn. And so here's one of them. As you can see, they will have icons above them. So we just collect this and we'll go through and uh, collect the rest of them. So that's one for us. And again, you will find this in Fellwinter's Peak. This is in the social area. This is where it was. Now, after you found the one that was in the Iron Temple, the rest of them are going to be in the Plague Lands. And I think I have actually... Um, I'm going to do this in a way that you can just kind of do like a big circle around the map. The first one's actually found in here right after you spawn. It's just right in this little room. You can pick it up and head off to the next one. All right, now, this next one... Wait, hold on just a minute. <laughs> okay, now, on this next one, you do have to climb up this wall before you can get up here to where the crates are. Now, once you've actually climbed up here, you go across these crates over here, and it's right down here in this little corner. To kind of help better figure out where it's at, I will show you kind of the area. Hey, look, there's a chest. Okay, I'm getting shot, so actually, let's get this. Also, this one is found in Giant's Tusk. Like I said, around the crates. From here, you can actually just kind of drop down and uh, head on over to the next one. This next one is actually found in behind here in that pile of rubbish, trash, rubble, whatever you want to call it. If you're coming from a giant husk, it will ah, be in the back. Oh, God. Oh, God. Anyway, it's back here in this, in this little pile of rubble here. You will actually be coming from over in there. Quit shooting at me! I'm trying to show a freaking video here! God dang it! After you have picked the one out of the rubble over here, you want to head this way and go back down to where you first started all this. You guys will actually be going back down to where you first used that splicer key and it will be in the corner of the room. And I'm showing you guys all this kind of fast forward. That way you guys have all the details. You guys can see everything in case you guys might get confused or might not exactly know where they are. So now that you're back down here, you actually don't have to go through this again or anything. What you want to do is come over here in this little corner. Again, this is in site six and pick up this one right here in the corner. It's just kind of chilling out for you just to come pick it up. There will be enemies in this room that you will probably have to take out unless you're just really quick and can run through here. But I took them out for the purpose of this video. You come out of that little hole, and it's right here in the corner. Like I said, right here's the door where it all kicked off. Now this is just me making my way all the way back up to the top where you first come through the door. And I know this kind of sucks, but it's about the only way to do it unless you just want to go out and come back in, which I would not recommend because it actually takes longer. Now once you come out of this front door, you just go to your right and down this road till you get to this bridge. Now once you're here, you're at the Forgotten Pass, you just end up taking that right after you come outside of the building. And it will be in this little, it's right here, next to this big, blue, whatever the fuck this thing is. Anyway, it's kind of tucked in there. It's on this bridge. I will, I will try to get a better picture of it for you guys. This is what it looks like. You will be coming from over there and just over here to this bridge. And that's where it's at. It's kind of tucked in right here. Again, this is the Forgotten Pass. Now this next one is just right on down the road. Don't forget to turn left after you go underneath the train on that little bridge and it's right here in this corner. I'm gonna take out some of these guys and then I'll talk about it. 
Now this last and final one that you'll need to be getting is in the Bunker Triglove. I don't really know that I'm saying that right, but anyway, you can read it on the screen if I'm not saying that right. But it's over here in this corner, right here, kind of in this bit of trash also. I don't know why people just throw this away if they can make a Galahorn. So now that you got that, you should get that and you should have to go back and talk to Tyra. But that this is where it's at. Like I said, you just kind of take a left after uh, you come from the bridge. You can go up this little way here. You'll, you'll probably actually go underneath this and then come up this way. Looks like this. I'm probably going to get shot in the back. This is right up here. And then you'll take another, another left and it'll be in this little corner. Right there. Like I said, once you get back to Fell's Winter Peak, you just go up here and talk to Tyra, and she will give you the next part of the mission. does not host academic functions inside. Every medallion represents an Iron Lord that fell in battle. Now, after you guys have talked to her, what you want to do is go back to orbit and go over here to this mission, a symbol of honor. Once you have clicked on that and you have launched that, well, you just kind of do it. Should start. I've asked that full power be restored to the tower while you are there. You should be able to access Bannerfall's core database. Got it. We'll let you know what we find. Now, I did delete the audio for this, and that's mainly because it was really high-pitched, and I just could not stand it. I'm sorry. And I didn't think you guys want to listen to it either. But anyway, after you scan a bunch of stuff here where the first enemies start coming in is when you turn on these turrets right above the doorway there. And if you're doing this by yourself, this is where I recommend you to be for the final boss battle because it will help you take out the adds. After you turn those turrets on, you will have two bombs to fuse on either side. And to me, that's one of the hardest parts of this whole mission. Because you have to stay in this little area and it's hard to do by yourself because you have a lot of those freaking skanks that explode. And if you get too close to them and they blow up, you will most likely die. I actually did die, but luckily I have uh, self-res, so I was good there. But those turrets really help with ads. Okay, now I did my job. History will look well upon your actions here today, Guardian. Return to the Iron Temple. I'm eager to look at what you found. All right, now back at Fellwinter's Peak, you go back up here to the top. You'll succeed. You go back and you talk to Tyra. She's team. got the next step for you. No rest for you, Lord Guardian. Some cash. Now that you've done that, you go talk to Lord Salad Man. Lord Guardian, Tyra has kept me apprised of your progress. You have stood worthy of the title these last few days. Once you get done talking to Lord Saladin and all that, what you want to do is go to this mission right here. Beauty and Delivery. This is going to be the mission where you finally can get your Galahorn. Now, before you get to see that beautiful Galahorn being built right before your very eyes, you do have to take out all the enemies at the beginning of this mission. After that, you will be able to access this table and then it will prompt these enemies to come in waves. Now, it is like the previous mission on defusing the bombs. You do have to stay with inside the circle around the Galahorn. And the best thing to do is just to keep moving, especially if you're doing this by yourself. It is so easy to get trapped in a corner and then just get annihilated. Best thing to do is just to keep moving until you hear your little light say this. I'm done. Come grab this thing. now rests in your hands, Guardian. Use it. Clear the gap. And remind the Fallen what happened to their number so long ago. Now this is like giving Stone Cold Steve Austin and the can of ass whoop he's been dying to open. Like, you're like freaking Oprah Winfrey the Rockets. You get a rocket, huh, yeah? And now you get a rocket, huh, yeah? Take a rocket to the face. Okay, sorry, I'm, I might have got just a little excited about the Galahorn. My bad. Now once you've completed all of that, what you need to do is come back and talk to Lord Saladin and complete your quest. You stood against the fallen as an iron lord. You have followed in the footsteps of history. And now, the Galahorn shall be yours. 
It's your baby. It's yours to do with what you want. It's yours to destroy whoever you decide to destroy. The only thing is, I would actually recommend to all of those who have pre-ordered the game not to actually infuse it for the Iron Galahorn. Yeah, I know it's tempting. I know this thing is just a beautiful work of art. And you've waited so long to get your hands on it. But actually, what you should do is keep this and use another exotic to infuse this weapon. And that way you will have two Galahorns, not just one. Maybe you can throw that other one on another character. Uh, or maybe you just decide, you know, one day you not want the Iron Galahorn. You want the regular Kajilla Horn. You can just use it. Maybe it goes better with one character, matches your eyes, maybe you painted your nails. I don't know. I don't know you. But that way you have two Galahorns. And if at anything, if it's hard for you to get one, maybe Zer's selling a gun that you don't like. You can just go ahead and buy it and then use that to infuse the Iron Galahorn. And that way you'll have two Galahorns at 350. Well guys, I hope this video was helpful and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. Show some love. Don't forget to comment and let me know if this was really helpful for you guys. If you guys have now got your Iron Galahorn and or your Galahorn. And if you guys want to see more from me, hit that subscribe button. I'm the Doc Wilson, and I'll see y'all next time.